well, to discuss the situation in our prisons. Joining us from where in Hertfordshire is Ben Harris Quinney, who's the chairman of the conservative think tank, the Bow Group. Hello, and thanks for being with us. So we've seen these disturbances at HMP Swaleside coming on the back of one of the worst prison riots in decades at HMP Birmingham. Just what is going wrong in our prisons? Well, I think it's it's actually unfortunately rather simple, um, which is that uh, the, the incoming Conservative led coalition government in 2010 uh, woefully underestimated um, the amount of capacity that uh, needed to be delivered in, in prisons. Um, the funding wasn't there as a result, but the structure also wasn't there as a result. And I think over the last six years, we've, we've seen increasingly severe results of, of that underestimation. So what you're saying effectively is that more money would solve this problem, more prison officers and more cash? Well, no, actually. Um, I, I think it's a question of priorities and the, the issue that the Bow Group argues most strongly on with regards to prisons is that the, the primary purpose of prisons is not rehabilitation of prisoners, um, it's justice for the victims of crime. Um, the secondary uh, purpose is to uh, act as a deterrent towards crime. And it's, it's then the, the, the third purpose of, of prisons to act as a, a centre for rehabilitation. But the entire approach to the system has been wrong-headed and therefore money has been spent in the wrong places. There is certainly um, a huge amount of efficiency savings that, that can be made and the government are, uh, uh, I think, recognising that more significantly now. The problem is reform in this system or any other sector will take um, years to come to fruition. And only now uh, the government starting to realise that the prisons policy that's effectively been in place since 2010 is, is not fit for purpose. We're always hearing these terms thrown around when it comes to prisons, reform, rehabilitation. Specifically, where do you think money can be taken away and what should it be being spent on? Well, as I say, I think it's a, it's a question of priorities. I'm not saying rehabilitation is not important. Uh, I'm simply saying that if you have a prison system that is giving uh, Sky Television um, to its, its, uh, its inmates, then uh, you, you might want to look again at exactly what your priorities are. I think the point was made also very forcefully by your clip as to the, the extent to which drugs are in prison. Um, you know, it's easier to get drugs in prison than it is on the streets. That can't be right. How can we have such an unsecure environment that is supposed to be the most secure environment in, in the country? And of course, that leads to uh, far more incidents like the, the ones we've, we've recently seen, uh, where prison, prisoners are getting out of control on either standard drugs or a concoction of drugs that they've made within the prisons. Um, and it, it, it seems to me that uh, that is one of the first things that, that needs to be addressed, both from a, a, a security point of view within the prisons themselves, but also on the basic point of principle, um, that we can't have a situation where our prisons are effectively drugs dens. It certainly is uh, quite a grim picture that you're painting. What would you make uh, of the government's work that they've done in prisons? How would you rate the performance of people like Liz Truss, the Justice Secretary? Well, I think Liz Truss hasn't been in post uh, anywhere near long enough to really get a, get a handle on this. Um, I think the government has, has recognised that more investment uh, needs to be made, but ultimately um, the government needs to decide on what its policy on prisons is. Um, if the government believes in a tough on crime strategy, which it claims to, um, then it needs to make more prison places available and it needs to find an efficient structure uh, to deal with the amount of prison places we currently have. Um, again, the, the, the government's strategy leads on this idea of rehabilitation, which, as I say, is important. But I think most people in this country would welcome the government setting out loud and clear that the primary purpose of prisons is justice to the victims of crime. And we've got to remember that most people that commit crime in the United Kingdom don't go to prison at all. And I, I think there are a lot of victims of crime that don't feel that adequate justice is being carried out, that people are being given stern enough sentences. And as I say, the Conservative Party have made some very strong signals about being tough on crime. 
But if you're going to be tough on crime, you need to have the prison places there to make sure that uh, when the sentences are passed down and justice uh, is served to the victims of crime, uh, that we can house that many prisoners and do so in an efficient and a safe way. Lots to discuss. Uh, ben Harris-Quinney, thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Very good. You're watching Sky News.